speaker, it's a pleasure to take part in this debate, and I too uh, join uh, our others across the House in uh, representing the excluded uh, in the United Kingdom. I'm fascinated by this view, Mr Deputy Speaker, that those who have chosen to adhere to government advice and set up uh, limited director companies are being treated at the moment as if they're some sort of Mr Bill Gates. They're not all Bill Gates for those who have decided to set up uh, these companies. In fact, they were told to do it, uh, and the advice they've been given is to create this sort of arrangement for financial security, and now find that, that, that there is no financial security for them. So I, I do join others in hoping the government will address that. It also needs to address the issue of who is self-employed and who is not self-employed. The government has had for three years the Taylor Review and it sat on it. And we are finding there are far too many people in the economy who really are directly employed but are designated as self-employed. And they too are missing out in government support, particularly those who over the last couple of years have found themselves directly employed and then found themselves being moved into being self-employed. And that's another uh, area which I, I hope that the government will look at. I want to, Mr Deputy Speaker, give a huge thanks to the HMRC staff who have performed heroics to make sure that companies have been paid through the various support schemes. We've seen the benefits, Mr Deputy Speaker, of home working, because many of those employed by HMRC have been working from home and have gone the extra mile to make sure that companies are paid. And what's the thanks they get, Mr Deputy Speaker? Well, they get a redundancy notice from HMRC notifying, notifying them that they could very well be finding themselves mm. in a redundancy situation. That, frankly, Mr Deputy Speaker, is an absurdity. HMRC's uh, office closure programme that they've went ahead with, we've now seen the benefits of home working. We've why, so why should someone who's been asked to travel 100 miles to their, their, their next workplace be faced with a redundancy notice when they've pro proven, in this particular pandemic, in this particular crisis, they've proven the benefits of working from home and to keep the economic wheels turning. So I hope, Mr Deputy Speaker, that the uh, Minister will respond to this quite disgraceful treatment of HMRC staff and perhaps they should, they should be given the rewards that they deserve, which is an above inflation interim pay rise, because that's exactly what the civil service does deserve in these times. Thank you.